Welcome back to another episode of Impulse Buy. So in case you guys are new to the series, basically I have five minutes and an unlimited budget to go into different stores like Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and see what kind of tech they got. I'm looking for the cool stuff, nothing cheap, like stuff that you probably haven't heard of before. So right now we're outside of Best Buy and quickly vote up in the iCard which store you guys want us to hit next. And just a quick rundown on Best Buy. Basically, they hate us filming. They, I've tried this so many times, they're not gonna let this happen. So we're gonna jump over to the iPhone as soon as we get in store, and hopefully we don't get kicked out. Now, I tried this at Fry's like last week. It went really well. I'll leave a link down below if you guys missed that episode. They were super chill. We found some really great stuff, but we're at Best Buy, and it's time to do it. Onward! We're at 447. Normally, I'm running by now. Keep the phone down. Drop a like if we actually pull this off, boys. There's no shot. There's no shot. This is our first item here. I saw your average consumer do a video on this. It looked really interesting. So Judner, you sold your boy. Let's try this. And we're keeping our voices down. I'm not running in this one. All right, let's run in this. Oh my God, what? Some tablets? Yo, they got a $49 tablet down here. Looks kind of sketch. I don't know if there's a keyboard included. We're not gonna take a chance. Yeah, I'm grabbing the Galaxy. Tab Elite. Is it the Elite? The Elite? 337, let's go. Oh, yo, this is pretty trill. It's true and real right here. It's a battery pack, kind of interesting, because it has a massive lantern built in. Let's peep this later. All right, three minutes off, here we go. <laughs> There's an iPhone case, an iPhone 10 case. Yo, come on down here. There's an employee looking at us. It's in a Ziploc bag, and they're selling it for 33 bucks. Yes. Can I make it in the cart? Keep this. Can I make it in the cart? That was the worst throw ever. I don't play sports. Yo, this case. I literally have to pen down every single time. How much time do we got? We got two minutes, 14 seconds left. It's a leather iPhone case. It's also a little used. So I'm gonna see if they can knock a few bucks off for the boys. I'm not paying $40 for that. Shot number two, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Jeez, that. In my fairness, in my defense, it's like a half cart. It's a short cart, you know? Doing pretty well so far. Have not got kicked out. No one's looked at us, no one's said. All right, the last thing that we need here, how much time are we left? A minute, we're, we're doing great. Tile, you guys know I love these things. They made a sport version, which lasts like two times longer. It's waterproof. We'll check it out for ourselves and see if it's legit. We got our items. We, we haven't been kicked though. out yet. Where's the cart? Let's go find the cart. 38 seconds left. To check it out. Haven't been kicked Let's out. Go. We finessed this Best Buy. The Best Buy finessed me. We gotta make it, we gotta make it, we gotta run. the most narrow aisles ever. 22 seconds. Might take out this baby. We're gonna make it. Huh? We made seconds it. To spare. Finesse this store. Finesse. 467 bucks. Jeez. All right, so 467 bucks is what we got. Let's head back to the stew and check it out. So we're back from Best Buy. Somehow we made it back and actually pulled this video off. I spent $467. Not too bad, we actually got some pretty nice swag. This is everything we grabbed. The first thing that I wanna check out is the Galaxy Tab E-Lite. I think it's called the Elite E-Lite, like you can't do that to your boy. So the Galaxy Tab E-Lite cost me 70 bucks. It's interesting, I mean, we got something kind of interesting to look at here. So let's see what we get and what the specs are. Seven inch screen, 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor, one gig RAM. 8 gigabytes of onboard storage, and a two megapixel rear camera. That's what you'd expect for like a $70 screen. I mean, you can't really expect too much here. It's a pretty nice tablet. All right, let's try to jump into like Chrome and see how good this is. We're just gonna quickly test this out, see if we can load up like a YouTube video. You can definitely tell that it's not an HD screen. I mean, it feels pretty nice, not super cheap. I like this textured backing. I remember when Samsung used to do this. They don't do it on the new Note series anymore or the Galaxy S line. I like it, buttons on the side, could definitely one hand this. Literally can't even play a video on YouTube because the Wi-Fi here is that bad. All right, well we tried to load up YouTube. It looks good from like the home screen side of things. This is really what we have to compare because there's no Wi-Fi in this office. Like my hotspot's not even working. All right, wow, it is just a rough day. It's, it's a really rough day. Like nothing's loading here. So Chrome looks all right. I mean, it's a $70 tablet, not too bad. Next up is something that I'm pretty hyped about. It's the Tile Sport. So I actually have a tile on my keys to show you guys. I've been using one, I think, since I picked this up in like a weird shopping video. If you haven't checked it out, I'll leave it right up there in the iCard. 
Super sweet. So these have actually been really helpful in just finding my keys. Basically, it's like a GPS tracker that has an app. You can kind of see where your stuff gets lost. And if it does get lost outside the Bluetooth radius, you can mark it as lost. And anyone else that has a tile that walks on by, they can help you find your lost stuff. That's kind of the whole premise behind tile. So what's cool about the tile sport over like your regular tile is it comes with two times the range and it's actually waterproof. And it just looks and feels thinner. So that's always a plus. I kind of like that. All right, so this is the tile. I mean, it comes with an app if you guys haven't already seen this. So there's an app on iOS and Android just to keep track of all your tiles, and really all your stuff. So let's fire this up. And you guys can see that I got a few tiles all set up. I got one for my Audi. I got one for the Honda Civic. Love that car. And then one for my wallet. And actually the phone you're using is also in tile. So for example, I could just double tap on the tile and it's gonna ring your phone. You'll be able to find your phone. And the phone that you're using is always gonna be at the bottom. So say for example, I wanted to find my keys. So this is what I have the tile set at. I would just go into the find section here and it would start playing a loud noise from the tile. So if it's on your keys, you'll be able to find it. And it's a very distinct noise to where your ears are gonna recognize this. Just trust me on that. And what's cool is you can actually switch up the ringtone and the volume of your tile just in case it's too loud. You can control all that all in the settings. So just edit tile details. Bam, you can change your photo, your ringtone. Two for 60 bucks. I'm a big fan of them. I've been using them for a while and I think they're pretty worth it. Now the next thing we grabbed at Best Buy, I couldn't believe, I thought it was a prank, like no joke. Thought someone just took this thing, put it in a Ziploc and threw a price tag on it. But it's the Kate Spade iPhone 10 case. I don't know how, I've never seen this ever in my life at a Best Buy. They just put this back in a Ziploc bag and shout out to them for also marking it down from $40 to $33, but a sandwich baggie? So I guess it's your standard iPhone 10 case. Like, okay, all right, all right. It's got like a nice hard shell on there. TPU on the side. So it's gonna, it's gonna grip your iPhone 10 pretty well. The real test though is gonna be when we drop test it to see if a sandwich baggie iPhone case will actually protect your phone. Yeah, I don't know if this case is totally me. I mean, the case that I just had on my phone was from the $3 iPhone 10 case video. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it right up there in the iCard. Pop it, just like that. I know the phone screen's not even gonna be cracked. Watch it crack. I mean, I think we'd all die. That case was sick. This, I think I like the sandwich baggie more than I like the actual case. There's only one thing left to do. Let's head out in the hall and drop test it. I'm not feeling good about this one. Here we go with the Kate Spade iPhone 10 case. Here it goes, nothing. Still the same iPhone 10, you guys know. It's real, don't worry about it. Like, it might crack, I think it's gonna crack. Dropping in three, two, Kate, don't let me down. Ooh, 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 I, mm. Is this gonna be like the lunchroom? Oh, wow, okay, all right, all right. Just got a little bit of dirt. It's got the lip on here, so when you go like that, and bam, that's a bonus drop. Everything Good. seems to be in order, no cracks. Kate, you held it down, and we got a deal. Now I'm really pumped to check out the big ticket item. Now one of the other things that we got was a battery pack that had a pretty substantial torch on the front. Like this is a lot of LEDs, more LEDs than I usually see on these battery packs, but 8,000 milliamp hour battery, 384 lumens worth of light coming from this flashlight. So it's not only a battery pack, it's a flashlight. I didn't read much when I was at Best Buy because I thought they were gonna kick us out. One and two, like I only had five minutes, but there's actually a solar panel on the back. It's kind of cool. Now I've used a few solar like hats to try to charge up an iPhone and a few other solar battery packs. And in my experience, it takes forever to charge something back up to 100% just using the sun. Now, if you're out in the woods, you know, and you gotta live off the grid. This is a good option, but I don't think I'll be using the solar feature too much. So there's two USB ports on the side. And if you guys wanna check out anything mentioned in this video, I'll leave it linked down below. I think I forgot to say that, but you guys know where it always is. Pow oh, wow, wow. I mean, you see how bright that is? It could have the strobe effect going on if you get lost in the woods, you need to find your way home. I mean, it's solid. Charges up your devices too. Battery indicator on the side. Let's see if it works. The light's shining bright. We got the titanium iPhone 10 cable. Do it. Bam. Just like that, your phone's charging and you're definitely not gonna get lost. Now it's not usually like me to pick up two iPhone 10 cases in the same impulse buy, 
But this one really caught my eye. So it's a partial leather, partial plastic case. It's made by a company called Nomad. They got a reputation for making good quality products. So let's go ahead and check this out. I mean, for 40 bucks, it's supposed, oh, dude, this is nice. This is why I picked it up. This seems like something g Easy would do. I could see g Easy with this iPhone case. Like being straight up, I watched this GQ interview. I really liked it. So the cool thing about having like this leather patch on the back is it's gonna wear with time. It's gotta be better than that Kate Spade case. Yo, I like it. Like first impressions, it's got this frosted edge, clear back so you can see the camera, you can see what's good on the top. And then this partial like leather section, I'm digging it. Like. I'm really digging it. I think this is gonna protect my iPhone. Let me know in the comments right now, yes or no, if you think this case will protect my iPhone from a drop, but you know what time it is. Let's head out in the hall and give it a test. So the first iPhone case made it just fine. Let's try out the g Easy one. That's what I'm calling this Nomad case. Partial leather, looks pretty good. Still the same, real iPhone. Here we go, dropping in three, two, one. Ooh, that got a corner for sure. Let, dude, maybe it's just because of the light, but we're good. Not broken at all. Backside, since we got that leather patch, we don't actually know if the bottom is broken. Nah, we're good. And finally, the item I am most excited to check out, and you guys probably too, it's the Star Wars Jedi Challenges AR headset. So I saw your average consumer actually check this out and I wanted it from the start. It was the most expensive item at Best Buy. It cost me like 199 bucks. But let's see if it's sweet. So jeez, like the box. So what you get inside, the lightsaber controller, the AR headset, and then the tracking beacon here. Pretty generic stuff. All right, so I actually went ahead and set this up just in case I failed or anything like that. I can't be failing on camera. You guys know, you guys are gonna give me so much crap if I do. So to set this up, you need to go ahead and download the Jedi Challenges app. So once you have that installed, and pretty much in terms of like phone sizes, the iPhone 8 Plus will barely fit in here. It looks like it's just gonna fit, but anything larger than this will not fit. I mean, in terms of thickness, I would say like most phones, like Samsung phones are gonna be totally fine. Just don't get anything too thick. It's not gonna fit in this shell here. So once you have the app all downloaded, you can see what is connected and what isn't. So our lightsaber here, we need to flip this on the bottom. Charges via micro USB. And you can see the lightsaber is good to go. So we have a button here and then a button here. We're all paired there. Let's do the calibration. We gotta do the infinity motion. We're all calibrated. Sweet beacon. Make sure the beacon is working batteries, place the beacon on the floor. We're gonna place it right there just so you guys can see it. So a quick little preview just before I put the phone in, you can see the black box in which when I put my phone down, it's gonna reflect onto these mirrors and kind of give you that AR experience. So let's try that out. AR screen goes down, put the phone in there. Then we need that cable. So they have a few different cables they include. This one's just for the iPhone, plug that in. Click, oh, I'm so excited to try this. Setup was pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so it looks like we're good. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can see the screen. I can see my face here, showing right there. Let's put this on. I know AR and especially virtual reality are one of those things you actually have to try. So maybe go over to your local Best Buy, see what's good there, see if they'll let you try one. But let's give this a whirl. All right, what do I see? It's really clear. Definitely try this out at Best Buy if you guys can. Seeing the planets, now we can start fighting. Naboo. It's really well done, actually. I was so skeptical. For like 200 bucks, it looks cool. Let's, let's actually get into a game. Wow, this is awesome. Like, you guys really gotta check this out. It's so hard to explain. Let me try to show you what's going on right now. So basically, you guys can see, I mean, ugh, it's so hard. I have a lot, oh wait, I'm trying, they're gonna kill me. Lenovo crush this What bam victory? The Mirage AR headset. It's actually really solid Jedi challenges This is definitely a win. I think this is the most worth it on this list Go ahead and drop a comment down below letting me know which item you guys thought was the most worth it I'm actually really surprised
that's gonna do it for this video make sure you guys get subscribed with notifications turned on if you're new and drop a comment down below if you guys are just joining the notice squad make sure you follow us on the insta story because that's where all the behind the scenes happened for this video and surprisingly we didn't get kicked out which would have been insane to show you guys over there that's gonna do it and i'll see you guys for the next impulse buys peace